In the latest version of Sage50 Accounts, you now have a simple choice as to how you send data direct to Excel. We'll quickly demonstrate the changes within transactions. We'll select an audit trail report, and if we scroll down the list, and we'll select the audit trail summary. The options to send the report to Excel are available on the floating toolbar and also on the toolbar at the top. Let's choose the first option, which is Report to Excel. We'll just click OK to the default criteria and the report opens in Excel. This is equivalent of running the report but also having it presented in that format and put directly into Excel. So for instance we've got things like the date, the time, the criteria that we specified, that's at the top of the Excel page followed by the actual transaction details themselves. If we close out and we'll compare that to the second option. The second option is data to Excel. Once again we'll just accept the default criteria and click OK and this time you'll see the format is the data that meets the criteria for the report that's being transferred across to Excel. So from here we can easily manipulate the data, we've got uh, shaded headings in there, we've got shading on the transaction list, we've got auto filters as well. This means we can easily analyse the data that's been transferred across. For instance, if we wanted to see a specific transaction type, we can just click on the auto filter. We'll remove the tick from select all, and then we'll select BP transactions only. You then click OK, and it applies the filter to your list of transactions, so only BP transactions are now listed. So you've now got the two choices, sending the report to Excel or sending the data to Excel.